Hello everybody, my name is Ed and welcome to Star Wars Battlefront 2, the full edition of the game this time, no longer the beta. Now, you guys helped donate towards this game, and also quite a few of you have requested that we play through the campaign. And actually, I've not managed to do that yet. I've played some of the online... What the hell? I always struggle with picking difficulty, but basically I've played through some of the online modes just because I wanted to get back into the version of the game, but actually I haven't tried the campaign yet, and so I wanted to try it on the series as per some of your guys' request. So there might be quite a lot of cutscene watching in this, so I apologise if there's a large portion of the video that doesn't have a lot of commentary, but that's going to be you and me experiencing a cutscene together. I'll try and, you know, not be too silent throughout the video, but it's going to happen a lot, so already we're kicking off with very loud, very loud indeed. So this is obviously what we're being introduced to, the first female stormtrooper protagonist kind of thing of this. I think she's part of Inferno Squadron, or I think we're gonna find this all out in the story, but that's at least the backstory that I was told from interviews and things. And so here's our protagonist's name. Inferno Squad. I was right, Inferno Squad. Commander Versio. Commander Versio. So her name is Versio. Good. Good to know. I missed the first name, but I'm sure we'll hear it a lot. Look at me. I mean, she was looking at him so when he said that. Facts. That was weird. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. So these are the rebels, weirdly, and you're meant to feel like he's this smug dick asshole. Like I hate him, but they're the side we root for. That's really weird, isn't it? Oh. Just help me and I'll help you. It's that easy. I don't know if it is. I don't think otherwise none of the events of Star Wars would have happened if it were that easy. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. Why is she threatened by that? It's a robot. Oh, there's probably something important in the robot. All I want is the code. The code? The activation code? For the droid, perhaps. Does the droid require an activation code? Who knows? Or is the activation code for something with the Empire? The Empire's time has come. The Empire's time has come. What a line. But it hasn't because we know what happens from here. Well, I guess the First Order starts up. So is that the Empire? I suppose it's like... Six, two, six. Is that like Order 66? What's going on? Oh, so that's activated something. Oh, was that the activation code for the droid? These things don't speak English. In the entire series, they go. <laughs> I shocked him. I got to actually do that. That was fun. Oh, look, I get to play as a little robot. Fuck you all. Fuck you all! I've got to download the ship schematics, which luckily have this kind of R2 unit sized penis port that sheathes my large rod. Okay, this is fine. So now I can pull out. Where am I meant to be going? What am I meant to be pulling stuff from? I'll put my penis in this one. Is this. Oh, look, it's me. Oh, look, there she is. She's, uh. She seems like she's not having fun in there. Okay, just looking around at all these. This looks like it's Imperial, but I imagine it was Imperial that's been taken over by Rebel. That would make more sense. Where's the ventilation system that I now have to go through? This is fun. The first Battlefront didn't have any of this shit. Oh, I have found the ventilation system that again has an R2-D2 unit port thing. What am I meant to be doing? Oh, there's another way out, whoops. This is incredibly fun. I haven't played a good Star Wars game for ages. My favorite Star Wars games are the Knights of the Old Republic ones, but we'll get into that in a minute. Stealth, the detection meter shows the rebels growing awareness of your presence. We've got stealth sections in this? All right, that's pretty neat. Shocked that one, but did that make enough noise to alert the other guy? Oh, quick, if I float above them, they'll never see me. Oh, pass the energy shields. Okay, we're through. Uh, things are going well. Are we going into space? Is this space? This is so cool. I was about to ask if droids could survive in space, but of course they bloody can. No, this isn't quite space. This is just a very cold, like, storage unit. So we have to deactivate the lockdown. How do we do that? Oh, there's a terminal that I have to fly to. I'm flying past everything. Is there no sprint function as a robot? I made it all the way here without being spotted. That was so fun. That was actually quite tense in a way. So now we have to go and regroup with Versio. I've got to get through this little hole. We're fine! Where's the, where's, the, where's the entrance? Here it is. Come on, come on, come on. So now we get to go and shoot people. Oh, I'm looking forward to this so much. Come on, EA. Give me the fun Star Wars game that you lost $3 billion in the process of making. Come on. This is going to be great. 
It looks reminiscent of the pit droids from episode one. Do you remember those? The kind of very annoying comic relief robots? Cool. Did they leave her- they didn't leave her blaster in here, did they? Because if they did, that's incredibly silly. Okay, time for us to escape. Droid, open cell. And now we're gonna go and kill some of these fools. Take them down, bitch! Stealth kill! Oh, that was so cool. Are we letting this guy out? No, we're not gonna let him out. Maybe I should have killed him. Wait a minute, we're going into one of the, like, briefing rooms. Oh, look! I've seen this in the movies! They're receiving a transmission from Admiral Akbar. This is such a nerd fan service moment. I love it. Okay, we've got ourselves our first weapon. It seems to be a little pistol. Great, this is no fun. Huh, oh, silent takedown murder. Oh, 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 oh. Shit, fuck! I tried to sprint up and kill them. It didn't work. Well, I guess we're doing this the hard way. Headshot. Headshot. I don't have to waste too many bullets on you people. I am Admiral or Commander Versio, whatever it was. Hello. Okay, I am Commander Versio and I am taking control of this ship. Slice that. Slice that. All on the floor. Slice that. Give me some more. Slice that. Do you dare? I'm gonna take down this big headed bitch! And then I'm gonna take out your friend! Why? Why does it come out of sneak? Fine, fine, we'll do this the hard way. Uh-oh, I think the alarm's been turned on. Right, so basically, I think they've we've just erased some of the data from the rebels. Okay, fine. Was that Princess Leia? Oh, no, it wasn't. I thought it might have been Princess Leia. Come on, let's go kill Princess Leia. I'm waiting for Princess Leia. Fuck you, Princess Leia, you're dead now. Everyone out of my goddamn way. None of you are a threat to me. Take down these guys while we're up on this balcony. This is fun. I really like this game. This is exactly what the first Battlefront needed. Why did you have to ruin this with such silly practices? With your loot crates and your microtransactions. Like, those were silly things to do. You didn't have to do that. I've got to shoot door panels. Where's the door panel? I found the door panel. I shut the door. That was really Star Wars-y and cool. They managed to capture quite a lot of the essence of Star Wars in this. This isn't actually crap. Part of me was expecting them to do a really half-assed single-player campaign that was just like the arcade mode from the first one. But they actually have both. They have the lame kind of arcade mode, which is actually reasonably fun, especially considering you could just be Kylo Ren killing hundreds of people, which, by the way, if you want to see me dicking about in this game in another video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to GameHog if you already haven't, and leave us a comment down there below if you guys are looking forward to more Star Wars Battlefront 2 videos, even, even if their practices have been a little bit shitty with their microtransactions. Not that I care, because you can ignore the microtransactions by doing things like the single player or the arcade, so who cares? The content will be unaffected. I kind of feel bad. Like, I like being evil characters in Star Wars games. Like I said, I like playing the Knights of the Old Republic games, and I like going to the dark side. Mainly because the dark side powers are so much cooler. I mean, maybe in kind of the Star Wars Episode Eight style, I should be a bit good and a bit evil. But if you guys want to see any of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the channel, do let me know, because currently I'm trying to play the second one, which is about the Sith Lords, because I want to play as Sith Lords. I like the Sith. The Sith were a cool evil thing, and like I said, their powers and their their wills were so much cooler and less emotionless robot than the Jedi. People like Darth Nihilus. Darth Nihilus was fucking awesome. He consumed an entire planet. Just from its energy. Is that not cool? I mean, a lot of that's now defunct to Legends and it's technically not real anymore. But hey, I still think it's cool as shit. What are your guys' favorite Star Wars games? Because another couple of mine were the Jedi Knight series because I really enjoyed Jedi Knight Jedi Academy where you became part of Luke Skywalker's new Jedi Order, which obviously Kylo Ren destroyed. But you become, you create your character and you go through this story where you have to kind of try not to... What the fuck? She just got ejected out of space? That was mental. This is cool. This is a very cool cutscene. I should stop talking. Either way, Jedi Academy, you get to choose between light and dark side, and it's fun. That was cool as shit! Are we just gonna pretend that that wasn't the most badass thing I think we've ever seen in a Star Wars film? And it jumped out of- that's so cool! This is such a cool scene. I love this game already. I find this very interesting because they're giving a lot more personality to the otherwise dark, shifting, faceless force that was the Empire, where they were all just like Nazi soldiers in that they were just kind of categorically evil, and it was only evil thoughts, and they'd kill a bag of puppies if they needed to. But look at this! Star Wars Battlefront 2 has opened up magnificently so far. I'm having a lot of fun. Sometime later, that's slightly lazy, but all right. Endor? Okay, so hang on, this is still, we're not actually post episode six yet.
What the hell? Are we witnessing the bit where everything dies at the end? Yeah, okay, so we're witnessing it get blown up. Excellent. Who's Piet? Admiral Piet? Something Piet? Okay, so we're being called to action. Uh, is this to go down onto Endor? Are we gonna go down onto it? Yeah, we're all- Oh, no, wait, we're already on Endor. Oh, I've seen this in the trailer. This is a very cool moment. Allow me to drink a Diet Coke while we watch this. Ooh. This is very cool. We're seeing the other side of these famous Star Wars events. I think this is sick. I'm having such a nerd out. I love Star Wars so much. Again, they're no longer these faceless, humanless robots. We now have... Oh, and we're playing in Endor? This is sick! I'm really, really liking this. I like that they actually have a bit more character to them now. Right, fuck you, death. I'm gonna sneak up behind this Princess Leia looking bitch and then whoop bang, whoop bang. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh shit, I think they're seeing me. They can see me. They've seen me. Fuck, I am an idiot. Fuck it, we're going in hot, guys. Ah! For the Empire! All right, all of the rebels are dead. Wait, 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 wait. I, I feel really guilty for doing this because I know these are the heroes that we side with throughout the whole thing, but I've always liked the Empire a bit more. Their designs are cooler, they look awesome, and their ships are sick, and they have cool looking blasters, and they make pew noises. The Empire will rise again because we, the Inferno Squad, will take you all down. Super gun, bitches! I am the fearless leader of Inferno Squad. I am Isla- uh, Iden Verso? Isla- Isla Verso? Isla McTeer? Okay, we've already done the first mission. This has gone very well. Clear. Okay. Those can't be all of them. Those rebel commanders must have already moved on. We should too. We're near platform four. Is there a shuttle there? No. TIE fighters only. Even better. Yeah! A TIE Fighter sequence? No, we'll this is gonna be great, but are, is, are they about to blow the Death Star up? That isn't how it works, though. We... That is such a cool moment. This is a great moment. Never seen the reaction of the people who were on the ground. Grieve later. Right now we need to move. I think this is fantastic. Okay, so we have to go and reach those TIE fighters on platform four. What do we what, tell us what's going on? Because right now these guys have no fucking clue. Oh. Okay, here we go. We're going and getting in some TIE Fighters. This is amazing. I'm really, really enjoying this. I just want to get in a TIE Fighter. Let's reach the platform and get in the TIE Fighters right now. Eliminate Rebels. All my Stormtrooper pals are dying. Guys, no! My faceless friends! You're all gonna die. Die by the hands of the Empire! I know you just kind of dealt us a very heavy blow, but things haven't gone south for us totally. God, you guys are all totally fucked here, aren't you? You know what I feel like as this Inferno Squad? I kind of feel like the Ginyu Force in Dragon Ball Z. They were evil, but you kind of liked their personalities. This is a bit like that. This is a very clever way of approaching this, because it's not often that you do get to experience the other side. That's why I like, like I said, that's why I like the Knights of the Republic series, because you get to explore both sides. And in the second one, the Sith Lords one, you actually get to properly explore Sith Lords. I need to stop going on about those games. I'm playing them in my free time a lot of the moment. There was another Star Wars game coming out at some point. Was it 1313 or 3131 that actually seemed like it was going to be a good game? And then it just, it just stopped. It's really disappointing. The game looked incredible. There was some test footage for it that looked really exciting. I want there to be some more RPGs in the Star Wars universe. I miss it. I miss doing stuff like this. This is really fun. Being able to explore the Star Wars universe in first person is great fun. I've eliminated their officer. They're gonna die now. Die because you don't have your, your dude to kind of, you know, bring you guys back. Ah! Oh! 
Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Nobody suspects a woman dressed as a stormtrooper. Right, let's go get in our fucking TIE fighters, guys. We gotta get out of here soon. We are going to get overrun. We have to go and get back to the Emperor. The Emperor needs us. Okay, we made it all the way here to platform four and three quarters. But where are our TIE Fighters? Oh, they've been destroyed. TIE Fighters are on the top. We've got so high to go. Come on, kill the heavy, kill the heavy, kill the heavy. Ah, grenade! Fuck me. You had the foresight to build two of these facilities. Why did you not just build a third? You'd already done the hard bit. You'd already designed it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Speaking of the hard bit, I'm going to get past this fucking bit of the level so I can get at the Sonic TIE Fighters. That thing is not doing a good job. Whoever's piloting that decided to stand still in a, in a battle surrounded by 100 stormtroopers. Who the fuck was in that? I just grenaded myself because I pressed L1. Why did I do that? This takes so long. You have to start all the way from here. I just threw a grenade again. Stop throwing grenades. This has taken forever. I've been recording for like an hour. I just can't get past this bit. I think we're taking them all down. We did it. We finally neutralized the fucking rebels. Right, let's get to the lifts. Let's get in the TIE fires and let's... Can we do space? Wait a minute, so there's rebels on here that are trying to disarm our ships? Right, well, we're going in guns are blazing guys and girls. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're blowing up our ships. This is not good, guys. We need these to escape. Sure, the multiplayer in this game could get a little repetitive, but this, this is really fun. This is actually really enjoyable. And as far as I'm aware, you actually get to play as different characters like Luke Skywalker and things later on in the story. So... That's really cool. And apparently there's even like a, the Force Awakens Last Jedi tie-in in some of the cutscenes. So again, that's really cool. We did it. We cleared out all the enemies. I've got to get into this TIE Fighter so I can get away. Or is it going to blow up the second I get near it? Probably because that's the kind of game this is. Can I fly it away? Do I actually get to fly this? Please tell me I get to fly this. Don't be a dick and cutscene it. I worked so hard to get to this point just for this episode so that I could fly this TIE Fighter. It's a cutscene. Great. It's a cutscene. You cheated me out of a TIE Fighter. Fuck you, game. Oh, look, that TIE Fighter's having loads of fun. And it's flying around loads. Why couldn't I get to do this? Why? Why? Wait a minute! I do get to do this! <laughs> this is fantastic! Now this, this is great. I thought they were just gonna be dicks and have a whole- Oh, it's so sad that the Empire has now been defeated. But this, this is awesome. Flying through the remnants of a dead Death Star. This is- Oh, I love this. They keep discussing this thing called the Corvus. But they haven't explained what the Corvus is. So basically, I'm just following this ship through this debris. Now, this was initially quite cool, but the sequence is taking quite a while. We have ships. Well, we don't anymore. I destroyed them because I'm fucking amazing at the Starfighter bits. Whoa, we've already got ourselves our first space fight in the second level. Okay, Battlefront 2, you've impressed me. So far, you have covered all bases. Fun little stealth bits, good first-person shooting, Star Wars, and now ship battles in space with dogfights in a TIE fighter. This game is probably one of the best Star Wars games ever made, and that's even including all the bullshit that technically doesn't really affect the game in any way. Right, we've got to get out of here. I am the best! This is pod racing! It is very hard to see because it's quite dark, and all the stuff that's kind of like Empire debris is like the same color as the night sky. The night sky or the depths of space, whatever you want to call this. I guess it's the same thing as the night sky. Although it wouldn't be like our night sky. It would be a totally different night sky. Die already, for fuck's sake. I think I'm being chased. Can someone help? Okay, activate afterburners. We're getting out of here. Fuck you guys. Die! I love the way it comes up with a little circle telling you where you need to aim in order to aim your shots. It just feels clever. It makes it satisfying when you do hit them. I mean, I mean, it would be pretty cool if you didn't have that and you were having to completely judge it. But the fact that it tells you makes that slightly more easy for those of us who aren't as good as all those people in the YouTube clips who play Battlefield 4. I think that's it. I think we're done. I think we're finished. Where are we going? What are we doing now? I'm rendezvousing with them later. I'm upside down. Oh, I'm outside the mission area. 
Which way is the mission area? Oh, well, I finished the mission, so it didn't matter. We did it! We got on the TIE Fighters and we got away. As far as I'm concerned, that is a good episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2. And if you guys would like to see more of this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to Gamehog if you already haven't. And leave us a comment down there if you're excited to see more of the story of Iden Versio and more of Inferno Squad. And also, just more of the gameplay in general. We'll finish off with this cutscene and then we'll call it a day there. You have to see me, sir. Approach. The Emperor is dead. Of course he is. There was a big explosion. We witnessed it happen. So what happens now? We retaliate, Commander. The Empire will assault at the very foundation of the rebels' pathetic belief in themselves. Tell me, Aiden. What is the source of their belief? Hope. Oh. Okay, there we go. I know my Star Wars. This messenger's presence is a great honor, one I choose to share with my daughter. Daughter? Oh, a little spoiler there. Creepy. Versio, Operation Cinder is to begin at once. Resistance, something, something, rebellion, something. Rebellion. Defiance. These are concepts that cannot be allowed to persist. You are but one of many tools by which these ideas shall be burned away. Bloody hell! Heed my messenger. He shall relay you to your target. Okay, I don't actually know what Operation Cinder is, Operation so I imagine we're going to find this out. Command of our Emperor. And the first step securing our future inferno is crucial when did all the flame metaphors come into the that information whoa for now here are next assignments they this is very cool this has set this up excitedly in episode one unusual times go commander do what you do best and what you guys do best is subscribe to Gamehog and also leave a comment about how cool this all is. Isn't this exciting? Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Byzies. It turns out I ended the episode prematurely. I thought the cutscene was over. I thought I'd timed that perfectly, but apparently not. God, this is still going. Um. Right. Okay. I imagine this will be the end of the episode. How much of this is going to be cutscenes? How long are the cutscenes? Is it a whole film in itself? What's the plan, Commander? Oh, the plan is we'll see you in the next episode. Okay, guys, take care. Bye, Zs.